Good morning guys. Today Nick and I are heading out to Lime Rock Park for the Porsche experience. Now this is a super cool event because it's invite only by dealer. We will be driving all the new Porsches on the track and the autocross track with the Taycans. Alright guys, so we are on our way to Lime Rock Park. Nick is on his way as well. So like I was saying earlier, this is a pretty cool event that it is dealer invite only. So you can only get invited by a Porsche dealer that you know. Uh, and we are going to be driving four out of the many new cars that Porsche has. We are going to be driving the new 718 Cayman GTS, the new 911 Carrera T Cayenne GTS, and the Macan GTS. So all those will be driven on the main track at Lime Rock. And then we also have the smaller autocross track where we will be driving the new Taycan, which is their all electric vehicle. So we're in route right now, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's meet up with Nick. All right, guys, and I see Nick pulling in right now. <laughs> He's got the R32. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun time. Uh, a GT3 RS just pulled in front of us a 992. Sick. We made it. I had to stop and get dunked. <laughs> I was I was hungry. All right, we got all the cars lined up. Nick, which one are you excited to drive? The 911, the 718, and then hopefully like that GTS. The GTS is hot. You can pair up. With, it's gonna be two per car. So if you're with somebody, you came with them. Stay with them. If not, we're just gonna put you together with somebody. It'll be two per car. Rod's going to be in the very first car. It's lead follow, which means there's no passing through no matter which car in. As tempting as it might be, you can't pass. The way you want to do it, like he says, just keep it nice little in, in a nice train. The track's very wide. You're using the width of the car. That is the driving line. Rod's going to put you exactly on that. It might seem a little odd when the speeds are slow, but as the speeds come up, it's going to go, oh, that makes sense. He's in the very first car. There's a radio in every car. Every car is important, but if you're in the very first yellow car, you're setting, you got three behind you, you got all your teammates behind you. Set a good example. Following Rod's tracks, like he's leaving tracks in the snow exactly where he goes. He's giving you good little tips. Got the cones out there. It's easy. It's a fun track, but it's easy to drive. It's like Jeff said, keep the eyes up. Eyes are trying to tell the hands of feet what to do, plain and simple. So not staring at the car in front of you, looking through the turns, seeing everything coming up. The further you look ahead, it slows everything down, the more comfortable you'll be. Nick, you ready for this? Cold start. We got cold starts. So the first group got the cold out. start, baby. Look at the smoke. <laughs> we got the first working. cold start on the 911. Yep. It's gonna be so fun. And then down there we have all the new Macan and Cayennes. But uh, we get to start with the funnest group, I would say. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this and stuff like that. And then instead of driving the electric cars, we're gonna get back to work so daddy doesn't get mad. <laughs> All right guys, so the first group is about to head out. The blue car is the lead car. And then everyone else follows behind. And the first group is heading out. Oh, dude, it's got the, the green seat belt. The green seat belt are on. And the SUVs are stepping up the plate. They'll be heading out next. Wow, that sounds really good. Look on. GTS. Yeah. All right, Nick, we are starting out in yeah, the... Yeah, and guess what? We're not starting on normal. We're going right to Sport Plus. We're starting out in the Carrera T. Uh, in the interior <laughs> on this is disgusting, dude. Everybody's got a radio in the car. If you can hear me, just give me a thumbs up, please. Super. Yeah, the, the, uh, the stitching is nasty, dude. Windows up. Oh, windows up? Windows really? Up. Oh, that's really good. So a little bent, so that means I gotta, he wanted a little bit, my arm's bent a little, so that means I Yo, gotta, put your foot on the brake. Check this out. Listen. Oh, dude. <laughs> He's buying a Porsche. He's buying a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> so Apex going on the right. The drive up the hill. Up wow, the brakes are gnarly, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were having a 
have a lift off for a second. Maybe someone went off the track. <laughs> First time on Lime Rock? Uh, second. Second, okay. I actually took the R32 on it. No! Like 10 years ago. Well, now it's time for a little swap. How'd, how'd you, what'd you think of the Carrera, Nick? I wish it was faster. What? Not in a tune can't fix. <laughs> We're hey, Tyler. Again. Round two. Your turn. My turn. Let's see how we do, Nick. Whoa!
You feel a little bit more weight on my side? Why? I'm only 350. Is it affecting the way you're driving? I don't think so. Oh, all right. And into pit lane, and now we're going to switch um, to the 718. So we're going to get out of the 911 and switch into the 718. Tyler, so now we got out of the 911 and we're in the 718. Yeah, so we're in the 718 Cayman GTS right, here we go. with the 4.0, so it's like the same motor as the GT4. Let's see which one we like better. Let's try not to hit this rim. So I've been a passenger for 30 seconds and I just want to tell you I feel more planted in the mid engine. Yeah, so this is definitely more planted uh, and more stable for sure. Dude, it's 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 a big difference. It, Holy it crap. Is, it is. I honestly like the way this feels more than the Carrera T. I feel a huge difference in being planted to the road. Coming under the liquid molly. Night and day difference. Like, literally, literally night and day. pits we go nick it was just me and the instructor that whole time bro no one else could keep up my turn <laughs> i think i'm gonna like the mid-engine dude this is this is so good it drives way different yeah bro. it's crazy dude wait till you feel it all right nick it is your turn in the cayman oh well this one's turbo too no na all right everybody put it down here we go there's no turbo spooling <laughs> And we're heading out. Dude, I have to say, what a difference getting to be behind the instructor besides someone else. Oh, I can already feel it. So good, dude. 
and I would like that car looks better and it's more expensive. This the handling of this is insanely different mid engine. Lost traction right there, Tyler. Yeah, you do Maybe every time. It's my side, so I'm heavier. No, so the traction light will come on on that uphill pretty much every time. so good wow this mid engine is insanely different the handling on this is slightly it's almost as good as my r32 <laughs> all right nick so we just finished up and uh what was what was better Did i told like... steve i'm buying a porsche and he gave me a goodie bag <laughs> yo what was better the 911 or the Tyler. 718 so the whole experience, like I'm just looking at the car, seeing yep. which one I'm gonna buy in the future. And I'm, that 911 just caught my eye, the way it looks. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It, the, the interior, Carrera like, T, yeah. The 911 looks disgusting. The GT3 looks disgusting. Yeah. On the track, it was good. A little squirrely stuff like that. I, dude, I could not believe when I got into the GT4, or, well, when I got into the 718 mid-engine, the mid-engine drivability is Crazy. absolutely stupid. Crazy. It, I planted the whole time no drifting out no slipping out this the literally the mid-engine porsche dr like i said it drives just as good as the r32 let's get back to the shop nick let's get back to the shop <laughs> well guys we had an awesome time driving the 718 and the new 992 911 great time super fun to go around the track and that's probably one of the best ways to learn the line uh, if you guys want to get into track driving that nice slow pace where like after you learn the line you can pick it up pick it up it's a really good way to learn the track but uh yeah we are headed back to the shop and uh let us know down below in the comments which car you would choose i guess based on looks because you guys didn't get to drive it uh but for driving wise the balance in the 718 is just perfect it's so good we'll see you guys back at the shop